Boys and girls, I am Ms. Moran and welcome back to your math lesson. So this week we are continuing with doing uh, subtraction word problems. Remember, when we're subtracting, we're taking away. We're not counting all together, we're taking away. We have something and then we're taking out a few of them. An example of a word problem is the one that we have down here with the cookies. So this is a good example. You have three cookies and then you eat two. So you eat one and then you eat two. How many cookies do you have left? you have one left. So remember with subtraction, you're taking away. You're not, you're not adding it all together. You're taking away, you're taking away either some of it or all of it. You just need to listen and pay attention so that you can figure out what it is that we're doing. Okay. So, um, we have a few word problems we're going to work together and then we'll talk about your homework. All right. So let's get started. For today's activity, we're going to be doing uh, two uh, new subtraction word problems, and we're going to work on them together. So remember, for this subtraction problems, I already put the number of candies that you're going to have here. Or yesterday, we used cookies, so I already put them there for you. In your homework, I'm also going to put the number of candies that you're going to be using, and it's going to be only the X's that we're going to be moving. And the X's, we're going to put it on the candy that we're taking away. Remember, we're doing subtraction, so subtraction means we're taking away, all right? So it says here, I have four candies, then I gave one. How many candies do I have left? And down here it says, I have blank candies. So once we figure out the answer, we're going to move the number that's down here up here, okay? So I'll read it again. I have four candies, so one, two, three, and four. Then I gave away one. So the one that I that I took away, I've got to put an X. So I only took away one. So it's going to be this one, right? Oops. All right. So I took away that one. And how many do I have left? So we have to count them. One, two, and three. Because that one was taken out. This one was given away, so we don't count this one anymore. So we have one, two, and three. So then we're going to grab number three, and we're going to put it here, and that's going to be our answer. I have three candies, okay? So next one, it says I have five candies, and then I gave away one. How many candies do I have left? So I already put the candies there for you. I have five, so let's count them just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. I have five can candies, then I give away one. So I'm gonna X out only one, okay? And so now I have to count the rest to see how many there are. So how many do we have left? One, two, three, and four. So now we're gonna look over here for number four. That's zero, that's one, that's two, that's three. That one's four. So this is the one we're gonna move up here. So my answer is I have four candies left, all right? So now that we did those together, now let's talk about your homework. Your homework is gonna be very similar to what we just did. So let's talk about that now. Okay, boys and girls, so let's talk about your homework today. So today we are continuing with uh, practicing our subtractions. And like I told you yesterday for your homework, um, I have the word problem up here, the subtraction word problem. And if you click here, and then push play, I can read it for you, okay? Or you can also have your parent or whoever's working with you read it for you. For subtraction, I already put um, the things that you had at the beginning. So today, we're, yesterday we used cookies. Today we're gonna have word problems about candies. So for this uh, word problems, I already put the pictures or the number of candies that you had at the beginning. So all you have to do is go and move the X's to where whatever candy you need to give away, okay? And then you count whatever you have left over, the ones that don't have the X. And you choose uh, the number that, you know, the, the your answer, and you move it out, up here. So um, let me read this word problem real quick. This one says, I have two candies, then I gave away one. How many candies do I have left? And so you have number two in color, red color, and number one in color, because that's giving you a clue of what we're going to be doing. And left tells you that we're going to be subtracting, so we're going to be taking away. So I'll read it again. I have two candies, and remember, I already put the two candies. 
then I gave away one. So you need to grab that X and put it uh, over one candy. And then you have to count how many candies left over. The candy that is left over is the one that doesn't have an X. And then you look for that number, the corresponding number, and then you move it up here. So if it's one left over, then you move the one. If it's two left over, then you move the two. Okay? You have two subtraction word problems again. So let me read the second one for you. I have three candies. One, two, three. They're right here. I have three candies. Then I gave away one. How many candies do I have left? So again, you're going to move that X and cover one candy. You're going to count the leftover candy, the candy that does not have an X. And then you're going to choose the number. So if it's one, you're going to put it here. If it's two, you're going to put it here. If it's three, you're going to put it here. Or if it's zero or four or five, you're going to put it here. Okay? All right. Well, remember, we're learning about subtraction because subtraction helps us know how much we have left over of something. Okay? It could be how much am I going to have left over after I pay for this candy? Or how many toys am I going to have left over if I give two or three away. So that's why we're learning about subtraction because we're going to use it in our everyday life all the time. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's activity and I will see you here tomorrow. We will continue learning about subtraction. Bye-bye.